Mr. Speaker, did you hear that Saturday Night Live has invited Donald Trump to host the show in November? Now, let me get the exact quote from July when Donald Trump launched his Make America Hate Again campaign. He said, when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing us those problems. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. They're sending us not the right people. It's coming from more than Mexico. It's coming from all over South and Latin America, and it's probably coming from the Middle East. While much of what Donald Trump says is hilarious, intentionally or otherwise, bald-faced racism for political gain isn't funny. His statement should disqualify him from being able to take the stage in any entertainment venue and speak to the American people as if what he said was no big deal. It is not that I don't get the joke. I haven't been kidnapped by the politically correct police, but when public figures cross certain lines, they should lose their privileges to host TV shows, at least until they've apologized for their unacceptable behavior. To put Donald Trump on the air in America living rooms on the signature comedy show of one of the most important national networks after saying that Mexicans are rapists, drug dealers, and criminals, that is a corporate blunder too big to be ignored. What happened? NBC and Comcast? Within a couple of weeks after Trump launched those racist bombs, you dumped Trump. You dumped his TV show on your network, you dumped his pageants and other ventures on NBC and Universal Networks like Telemundo. In July, NBC said, due to the recent derogatory statements by Donald Trump regarding immigrants, NBC Universal is ending its business relationship with Mr. Trump. NBC said, quote, respect and dignity for all people are cornerstones of our values, end quote. And NBC, you were not alone in dumping Trump. Macy's department store dumped Trump's clothing line. Serta dumped Trump's mattresses. Chef Jose Andres pulled his new restaurant from a Trump hotel. And Univision dumped a Trump pageant. Even NASCAR and ESPN dumped Trump. Corporate America stepped in to the plate and dumped Trump. And we all applauded. Let's be clear. The goodwill that corporate America earned from dumping Trump didn't just come from the Mexican-American com community. No, when Trump says Mexicans are murderers, rapists, drug dealers, Puerto Rican knows he's talking about us too. And Colombians and Salvadorians are pretty much everyone in the Latino community. Look, Americans aren't very good at telling us apart. So when we are under attack by a tycoon running for the Republican presidential nomination, we can't tell us apart either. We are all family. What happened, Comcast, Universal, and NBC? Now, three months later, has Donald Trump's words been expunged? Did I miss in a policy on one of his almost nightly TV appearances? Has he confessed his racist and hateful Well, NBC installing Trump as NSL host may be good for ratings, but it is a bigger deal than a cameo or a Tonight Show guest. And I'm calling you out. If Donald Trump had said gays and lesbians were murderers and raping Americans, would he get to host the show? It is every bit as much a fiction and a lie. Donald Trump has said some pretty awful things about women individually and collectively, but what if he said most women were criminals? Would the writers be thinking up of sketches for Trump if he had slandered an entire gender rather than an entire ethnic group? Trump says he wants to do away with the part of the Constitution that allowed freed slaves, free American, uh, African-American slaves, to be treated fully as American citizens. Yes, Trump thinks we do not need the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. But what if he said that black people were murderers, rapists, drug dealers? Would you still pitch his skits with Donald Trump in some lighthearted banter? What if all of the Latino cast members all walked off the job at Saturday Night Live. Oh, wait, you don't have any Latino cast members. I do seem to remember Comcast spending a lot of time on Capitol Hill when they had a merger deal with Time Warner and they wanted support from members of Congress. Comcast said, oh, Latinos, you're so important to them. And they had plans to do this and that and the other thing to support the Latino and immigrant community. What happened? The merger didn't go through? 
so you no longer feel the sense of corporate responsibility to the 55 million Latinos that live in the USA? Giving free airtime to people who insult and malign them is now part of your business model? And I just want to say one last thing to producer Lauren Michaels. I wonder if he had said that Canadians were rapists, murderers, and drug dealers, would you be inviting him on NSL? Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to uh, place in the record a letter that I sent NBC Comcast yesterday. Without objection, so ordered, the members are reminded to address their remarks to the chair. The time of the gentleman has expired. The gentleman from uh, West Virginia, Mr.